Do you really only need $10,000 to become a crypto millionaire? Well, I have the answers for you in just a second, but more importantly, I have some very big announcements for Gala Games that they just announced a few days ago, and also some really bullish factors as well as some concerns for Gala moving forward. So I have it all in today's video, plus I've actually put together something very, very special for you guys that I just couldn't find anywhere else, okay? So first of all, what is 10,000 Gala looking like right now? Well, if you purchase it at the current market price at about four cents, that's $430, okay? so quite cheap and what was this looking like back in 2022 well about eight thousand three hundred and sixty seven dollars so i mean the return on investment there is phenomenal and that was for demand back at a market cap of four billion dollars so let's fast forward to 2025 and we have about eighteen thousand four hundred and ninety dollars so the question is can it make you a millionaire any youtuber telling you it can is lying to you this is my prediction and it's not really a conservative one either, right? So that would put the token price at about $1.87 or about a 43X from the current price. So what this actually works out to be, right? It's easy for me to say $1.87, but there is numbers that goes into that actual price prediction, okay? And that's estimating the market cap of about $20 billion. So the previous all-time high market cap was just under $5 billion, right? So I have 4 x that at the very, very peak and then estimated and figured out the circulating supply, which is where my concern will come into at the end of this video. But this is pretty much the circulating supply that will be in 2025. So you simply, you get the market cap, divide the circulating supply, and that's how you get to the dollar price. Simple, right? So essentially, you can turn about 430 bucks into 18,500. Now, I'm guessing most of you guys want to accumulate a little bit more than just 10,000 Gala tokens, right? So anyway, let's get into actually how and what the actual important announcement really is. So the announcement is that Gala is migrating to its own network. Super bullish, it allows for so much flexibility and some of the things I want to talk to you about in a second, but you can take advantage of this simply because when a project does tend to migrate to Mania, and this will be in about May of this year, the price tends to spike up because people are bullish. You just need to make sure you do invest a little bit earlier before that event comes. Not financial advice, of course, I'm not a financial advisor, but that's typically what does happen, right? Now the burn mechanisms will be implemented at this point as well. So Gala has announced that they will burn 50% of every single transaction on V2, which is very bullish indeed. Security will also be increased. Of course, owning your own network allows you to just tinker whatever you would like. So very bullish. Networks typically don't like to do that because it does end up costing millions of dollars, okay? So, uh, and it's also feature upgradable as well. So the network, of course, as I mentioned to you moments ago, is just gonna be flexible. They can do whatever they'd like to do, especially with their immense, very intricate node network. I think it'd be fantastic for the project, all right? It's also multifaceted. So we all know Gala, we pretty much, it's synonymous with Gala Games, right? We don't even say Gala. So Gala Games is one uh, facet of gala but there's also gala films and gala music now these two sectors are very very new and they haven't really come out as of yet in their full sort of form but it's pretty impressive so far right so gala films somewhat recently announced that they were working with dwayne the rock johnson and mark Wahlberg on an actual film right so this is they do create films right and uh, it was actually supposed to be announced probably later this year they i think they accidentally leaked it the the one of the founders at least you know mentioned it on the discord and it went viral because it was supposed to be closed off so they deleted that retracted that very very quickly and uh, they have actually announced that it will be mentioned later in the year so when that does eventually happen when that film comes out extremely bullish but the kind of the main reason why it's important to know this is because they are actually creating films. They are actually doing more than just games, right? This is huge. Also, Gala Music, right? So this is something that I love Web3 for, especially for artists, right? So Gala Music is going to reward artists. Also, these people called owners who own the tracks, aka the NFTs from the artists. Also, hosters or their own nodes. So nodes can be actually attributed to just Gala Music, as well as obviously Gala Films, right? So the nodes that host the Gala Music sort of um, network you know, you can um, actually get your NFT from the artist, uh, link it to a node or a hoster, and then when people listen to that track, you get some rewards back, right? So it's pretty important and pretty crazy how this whole th sort of thing works. And you also have listeners, right? So as a listener, you can also earn as well. But ultimately, the real power of this is it just is giving back to the artists themselves. You know, it's so hard for an artist to make income because there's so much noise, no pun intended. So it's hard to break out of that so-called noise and become, you know, famous enough to earn an income. And this 
will allow them to have a platform, a, a secondary platform to actually make some revenue, you know, times are tough, right? So one of the factor is they've actually partnered with Snoop Dogg in the past too, about a year or so ago, and uh, he actually created his own NFT collection, made a fair bit of money as well. So ultimately, what I'm kind of get at is, Gala is just more than games. Gala is multifaceted, right? There's so many avenues where they're pushing down. And I might I say, they're pushing with full ferocity, right? They're growing very quickly. And look, speaking of growing quickly, the nodes on the network are growing exponentially. And it's important to talk about this because this is one of the main contributing factors that are taking the Gala token out of circulation, okay? Staking for the nodes, right? So let's just break it down for those of you who don't know. So there is a maximum of 50,000 Gala nodes that can actually be run on the network, more particularly founder nodes. And this will change over time. I'll mention that in a second. But out of the 50,000 nodes, there's 40,000 of them currently active. Yes, 40,000. And why I think there's so many is because they're very simple to host. You pretty much just create a Gala account, you sign in, you buy the node, you host it for six hours, Bob's your uncle, you can start getting rewards. But the real kicker is, on top of these Gala rewards, which I've heard are quite profitable, you also have the chance to be airdrop tokens. You're automatically entered into a raffle every single day. There's a new raffle, by the way. And for every node, it's one you know one um, ticket. The more nodes you have, the more tickets you essentially get, and the more chance you have to win the airdrop. And there's NFTs and tokens inside these airdrops. Okay, so it can be very, very profitable, and that is more of an incentive to honestly get as many of these nodes as possible. But the third and final reason why it's also I believe there's so much demand for it is because every 100 nodes that are purchased, right, the node licenses, the cost to actually accumulate a node increases. I think I saw some guy on Reddit mention that he was looking at nodes one day, come back two days later and the price had gone up $2,000. So they are, they're being eaten up very, very quickly now. From what I've heard, they're quite expensive even right now, but highly profitable, okay? That's very, very important. And because the Gala token itself is so utility-based, other network tokens are utility tokens, but for truly, Gala's token is utility because in my opinion, it doesn't capture as much value as other networks do. So this factor is very, very important because it's one of the highest contributors for why Gala tokens are currently being uncirculated, okay? Of course, in the future, the burn mechanism will come in and that will supply more um, you know, pressure, positive upward pressure. But until then, I think this is one of the main reasons, right? But again, they're killing it right now. The only issue is they are actually going to be creating entire node ecosystems and individual nodes for each of the aspects on the network, right? So you can almost see Gala Games as like the company and the, you know, you have the music, film, and also the game section, as well as individual games, by the way, as like uh, subsidiaries of the company, okay? So th there'll be music nodes, and I think there currently is music nodes. There's also going to be film nodes as well. And again, nodes you can host for individual games. Obviously, these will give you different rewards. I believe they're working on individual tokens, not the Gala token for these networks. And this is actually a bad thing, right? They're splitting up their different subsidiaries, let's just call them, and they're creating individual tokens for them. It's like, why would you do that? Like, that's just, you want to try to capture as much of the Gala token as possible. But what I'm sort of thinking is Gala, the team, right? They're so focused on actually really and truly creating entire networks out of these individual subsidiaries that the game section is one entire network. You'll just know, okay, Gala Games, Gala Film, Gala Music. So they're kind of like a company in a way. They're just managing different aspects, right? So I don't know. I, I think they can definitely pull it off. I mean, to have 40,000 nodes, they've obviously nailed down the incentive mechanism for people to actually want to become a node. So I think these can definitely take off. I just don't like the aspect how they're creating different tokens. But the really beautiful thing is V2 is coming out soon in May. So for all we know, this could definitely change. Let's just wait for more developments, okay? Now supply, right? Supply is also a bullish factor because this is what creates supply shock. So they're going to have a fixed supply of only 50 billion tokens. And obviously, once they're all in circulation, 0% inflation after that. Now, as I said to you before, again, they will be deflationary on V2. 50% of every transaction will be burnt which is a good thing for a lot of people, right? People love that deflationary factor. But it's also very importantly fair, right? So the tokens are distributed very fairly. There was no ICO. There was no like pre-minor tokens distributed to a whole bunch of entities. It all works off the halving, right? So the halving is like Bitcoin's halving, right? Every single four years, the amount of tokens that are expelled halves. Well, for Gala, it's a bit different. It's every single year, July 21st to July 20th, 
and it's not distributed like x amount of tokens over a period of time it's distributed per day i think initially they're but 20 to 21 or 21 to 22 it was about 17 million per day and now it's about 8 million per day and then it'll go to 4 million 2 million so on and so forth okay so it does diminish but these are tokens emitted every single day quite a lot but again at least we know it's going to be a max supply and i'm going to circle back to this in a second but what this essentially does is it's just fair right they're emitting these tokens anyone can purchase them i believe it's nice and fair which is what crypto is all about okay and i said before you know they're decentralized so many nodes are on the network obviously added bonuses there now holders as well okay there's about 225,000 holders on the ETH smart contract that's probably okay for their market cap size top 100 right so how many um, people in the circulating supply hold the tokens in the top 100 wallets well 81.66 percent that's actually very centralized so that's not a really good thing there now this is very important for gala games i'll tell you why in a sec twitter 429,000 followers average daily social engagement 4.91 million interactions huge very good now this is important because you see other layer one layer zero networks they don't really have to worry about their socials as much as long as they present well and accumulate nations institutions whatever corporation it might be into the network that is huge amounts of demand think about all the transactions they process and the value of those transactions on the contrary gala games what are gala games subsidiaries they got the gaming sector they got the nft marketplace they have the film and they have the music what is it orientated that's retail investor regular joe orientated right so for them they need to have a strong social presence because that's their customer base and they do which is great now this is a serious concern i have right so as we should all know i mean gala has terrible information on the tokenomics right i really wish that they fix that up a lot of people agree with me so essentially i had to go ahead and create my own emission sheet to figure out what the supply will be at a point in time okay so again let's just confirm right the there's no emission clarity and it doesn't add up this should at least i'm hoping clear up on v2 they really do need to get their act into gear and hopefully when they migrate to the new network they do um you know put this out in public and are very clear with it right they definitely have information on it but it's just not clear so what do i have in front of you essentially the current time right now april 20th 2023 there's about 7.52 billion tokens in circulation okay and what i've done here is work out the halvings and how much is emitted per day based on the halvings to figure out well in 2025 bull market around the you know mid 25 there'll be about 10.65 billion tokens in circulation okay that's kind of how i use this to figure out what the price will be at that point in time earlier in the video okay but check this out i only worked this up to 20 35 and there was only about 11.4 billion tokens in circulation at this time and what does this really mean well the red line you can see up here is the max this 100 percent um thing up here that's the 50 billion tokens right so we are we're not even 25 percent of the way circulated right now so you might be thinking to yourself what does this really mean well i don't really know what it means either guys for, for once in my whole entire youtube career i can't give you an answer on this this is really bad this this to me seems, seems like something doesn't add up it seems to me like they haven't done the economics part of it right now if you're a gala expert or you're an economics expert please let me know down below if there might be some article out there that i haven't read yet that announces why this has happened but as you know the halving halves the amount of tokens emitted every single year so it's gone from like where we are now at about eight million per day and over here in 2035 where i've stopped right this is about emitting 2,000 tokens per day so it's only going to get worse and asymptote even more so we pretty much will never hit the 50 billion tokens or even half of that or even 25 percent of that so this is very concerning for me i just wish there was more clarity on their emissions and they kind of at least announce this again i just hope that they clear it up on their v2 now look with that said guys with my concerns out the window by the way that sheet took me like three hours of hard work so i'd appreciate if you gave the video a like because of that but if you do want to learn more about gala don't worry i'll be coming out with a deeper dive on the actual ecosystem you know in a couple weeks so you can look forward to that but until then the video is on screen now should hopefully quench your thirst anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it and uh i hope you all have a great day